Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul for you. This is from the Bathing Garden and this is from the March restock that Shannon did. Shannon is the owner of the Bathing Garden. And um, with this restock, she did an Alice in Wonderland theme. So it was a pretty exciting one. There was a lot of anticipation for it. Um, and her next restock will be mid-April. So you can join her Facebook group page and you can find out all the information that you need to find out when the next restock is. Um, she now does them through a website, so you actually order through a website and that saves her time on her end with having to invoice people and such. Um, and she can start pouring wax right away. So it was really easy. I actually did it all from my phone, so it was super easy to order. Um, I did get quite a few things as you can see in front of you. I probably got a little bit less wax than I typically do, um, but I did order every single scrub that she had because I'm just in love with all of her scrubs. So also, um, it's a pretty warm day here, so I have my fan on, um, and so I'm hoping it's not going to create too much like background noise in filming this, so hopefully you guys don't have a problem hearing me. But let me go ahead and get started. So it was really cute. She included in the box um, an Alice in Wonderland uh, playing card. So this is the Six of Diamonds, and it says the prettiest are always further. Um, so that's interesting. But I thought that was really cute. Just a nice little touch to this whole, the whole thing. And then for samples, um, she did include this kind of little sample here. To me, it looks like a, a cork that you pull out of a wine bottle. But she did post, oh, I'm going off camera here. She did post on her website that this is supposed to be like, the little cake that Alice eats when she gets bigger, I think, is what she said. And it's supposed to be like caramel and nuts. And let me see. Yeah, it's and cakey. I think it's like cake and caramel and nuts. So that's what it smells like. It's pretty small, but that was, you know, that's just a fun little sample. And then also some of the freebies. So she included um, this one, which is one of her block tarts. It's when Wonderland dreams. And the scent description on this one, I think, was it's berries and sugar. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. I did open it and peek at it. Um, I did not, however, take it out just because there is some toppings on it. And I didn't, oops, I didn't want to drop it. So that's what it looks like. It's a gorgeous block tart. And it does smell like... Um, kind of has a perfumey berry note with some sweetness so it must be I wonder if there's like a raspberry in there it has a little bit of kind of a perfumey note on cold um, but it smells really nice love the freebies so I got that I'm gonna just stick that off to the side because of the fact that um, I don't have a lot of room then one of the other freebies I got was um, peppermint fluff which this is one of my favorite scents I think I did a review on it already oh I had one clamshell and it's so yummy I just love this one so this is not part of the Alice theme it was just a freebie but much appreciated so the first one here is Alice in lavender land I'm pulling up the scent description right now and that's French lavender with vanilla extract and marshmallow cream. And I'll show you what it looks like. So there's like um, a little rabbit there. Let's see if you can, if it'll focus on that. There you go. And then a lavender bud, which is really cool. Oh, it smells really nice. It's definitely an herbal lavender, but it is sweet from the marshmallow cream. It's a little sweet from the marshmallow cream. I'm trying to pull it out of the clamshell. So this is what it looks like. It's purple on the bottom, the white on the top. Oh, this is beautiful. A nice herbal lavender with that marshmallow. So that one is really neat. And then next is Curiouser and Curiouser. Get this open for you. And it has, um, it's pink, and then the embed is kind of like the face of a lady. It's, um, what are those called? 
I can't think of it right now. There's a name, you know, those like little, it has a person's head on it. And it's like a little oval shape. I can't think of it right now. But this um, is notes of clary sage, Italian lemon, uh, a tiny bit of bergamot, middle notes of spicy carnation, lily of the valley, and base notes of cedarwood, patchouli, and amber. So there's quite a bit going on with this one. And it just has a very nice um, kind of like floral, but there is some sweetness to it. But it does kind of remind me of like, it's definitely kind of like a, a bathroom type scent, you know, something that you would probably use to fragrance a room, um, not really like sweet or like foodie or anything like that. So this next one is Drink Me. And inside there's just three like little flower embeds. Oh, that smells so good. And it's strawberry milkshake, cherry tart, vanilla flowers with a guava cherry tart drizzle. Mm, I definitely smell the strawberry. It's like a nice, sweet, creamy strawberry. Take it out. It's just a nice, beautiful, like fuchsia pink. Oh, that smells so good. I smell the cherry as well. Mm, I can't really tell right now if I'm picking up on vanilla. Maybe a little bit. Um, and then the guava cherry tart drizzle. We made it. just smells like sweet and fruity with some of that cherry in there. It smells really nice, though. So. The next one is Easter Basket. And inside is really cute. Has a cute little Easter egg embed, and it is like yellow. It's yellow on top and like a peach on the bottom. My camera keeps changing colors. Sorry about that. It's fresh orange cake and vanilla layered with sugar crystals. And you definitely get the orange. No, I think I almost inhaled some of the the glitter on the top. Ah, oh, smells so nice. It's like a nice, really fresh orange, but then it's a little bit sweeter, I think, from the cake note that, you know, that's in there. Um, next one is Eat Me. And there it has a beautiful flower in bed, and it's kind of tan with a white swirl. It's white on the bottom. And this is rich and creamy with notes of caramel, custard, and sweet cream. Definitely smell the caramel in this. Um, and the sweet cream. I don't know. I mean, the custard to me is just like a sweet cream with egg. But it's creamy and caramelly and sweet. So, smells really good. I want to eat that one. <laughs> The next one is Happy and Birthday, and this is just birthday cake, I think, with frosting. Let me double check. It's, yeah, an iced birthday cake is what it is. So let me show you the inside. Just some sprinkles. And it smells like cake with icing, like with frosting on it. Kind of like a cupcake with sweet frosting. It smells really good. If you like cake scents, that's a great scent. And this next one is Keep Your Temper. And it is white with some yellow kind of sprinkles on there. And this is fresh lemongrass and lemon curd topped with a layer of marshmallow. Oh, so the bottom is yellow and the top is white. So I can smell a lemon, even though I think the top is the marshmallow. Mm. It's, but it's definitely that tart lemon curd in there. And then some sweetness from the marshmallow, but mostly I'm getting the lemon right now, the tart lemon curd. Next is Knave of Hearts, and I think this one is my favorite as far as the embed goes. It is just really cool. It's like a nice deep pink, and then it has this black embed that is, um, let's see if I can get like some of the detail to show up. It's hard to see, but it's kind of like forestry like leaves and pretty much just like leaves and forest and it looks like there might be some kind of heart shapes in there but it's just a gorgeous embed really really cool 
So what was this one? Knave of Hearts. Okay, so this is fresh picked strawberry, cotton candy, brown sugar crystals, and coconut flakes. Definitely smell the strawberry and the cotton candy for sure. Maybe I'm picking up a little bit on the coconut. Oh, and mine, it's actually broken in half. Oh no, but mostly I'm getting like the fresh strawberry and the cotton candy. Smells really, really nice. This is actually the first time I've had a tart that's been cracked. You can't really tell, but it did crack in half, so, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to break it anyways to melt it, so not a big deal. This next one is nothing whatever. It's green and white on the bottom. It kind of has like a, a gradient, like gradient shading, but green and white with lots of sprinkles. And this is earthy wild mint and ivy topped with a layer of vanilla cream. Ooh, it's like minty and like a green note, I think from that ivy. And then, oh yeah. It, this is topped with a layer of vanilla cream, but this one, I think the vanilla cream's on the bottom and the top is the ivy and the mint. So, at least that's what I'm smelling when I smell the different parts of that particular clamshell. So that is that one. Next is orange marmalade, and this is exactly what it, the name says, just orange marmalade. And it's like a light orange color. And it has like a little orange embed in there. The coloring on my camera is just awful right now. Maybe I shouldn't hold them so close. I don't know. Um, it looks like it's all the same layer. Oh, but this is like a nice, fresh, creamy, sweet orange. So there's like that. It, it's actually, to me, it smells like it has a little bit of a creamy, like a cream note in it. But really, really good. Love orange. Pretty much love orange anything. This next one is Painting the Roses Red. This is gorgeous. This has just a beautiful rose embed with lots of sprinkles. White on the top, and that is like, is that black? Kind of like a dark gray on the bottom. Yeah, ooh, that smells really nice. And that is Buttercream Frosting and Coconut Cream Pie layered over a blend of raspberry and roses. So I definitely smell the coconut cream pie, which I believe is what's at the top. I get some crumbs here. So I believe the bottom is the, is it raspberries? Yeah, raspberries and roses. Mm-hmm. I smell like fresh tart raspberries. Oh, it's very beautiful. Shannon does such a great job like blending scents and things sometimes I wouldn't like expect to try together. This one is strawberry nonsense. And this is just red with some brown kind of crumbles and glitter and all that fun stuff. And it's creamy zucchini bread blended with strawberry jam, sun ripened strawberries, and bottom notes of cotton candy and French vanilla. Mm, I'm definitely picking up the zucchini. The zucchini is definitely the strongest in this one. I'm taking it out so I can smell the bottom. And then I get a little bit of a fruit note, but I'm mostly picking up zucchini right now. I usually do let these cure at least a couple weeks before I start melting them, just to make sure all the fragrances come out. This next one is Tea Party with Alice. This is another gorgeous one. Um, it's like a fuchsia pink on the bottom. There's a layer of like a nice light blue. And then there's like a white pour with a beautiful pink rose. What was this? Tea Party with Alice. And it's a bottom layer of black lemon tea topped with strawberry jam and drizzled with sweet honey cream. Mm. I'm definitely smelling that honey cream on the top, which is that drizzle. And getting like a nice lemon tea on the bottom. Did it say lemon? Yeah, black lemon tea. Mm, that's gorgeous. Um, I'm not really smelling much of the strawberry jam. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. But it smells really nice. Next is Tea with the Queen of Hearts. This is a cute one. 
just red, lots of fun sprinkles and glitter, and a black red wax embed. And this is the scent of Rubio's Red Tea, which I don't even know if I've ever been to a Rubio's. Maybe once. To me, this just smells like sweet plastic. Like I'm not picking up a tea scent or I'm really not smelling much in this one. Mostly smelling kind of a waxy plastic note right now. Maybe with some cure time, some fragrance will come out in that one. Um, this one is Tweedledee's Dilemma. You have, it's kind of like a purple and a white swirl throughout. She swirled all the colors. Can you see that in the bottom? Um, then there's some chunks on the top. And ooh, when I opened this, I got a nice big whiff of it. it smells really good. So this is vanilla extract tropical bubbles and a swirl of grape serendipity. Ooh, grape serendipity sounds good. Is that different than regular serendipity or is that just like grape and serendipity blended together? Because I'm not really picking up the cherry or the coconut. Maybe a little bit of cherry. I'm mostly getting like the grape. It's kind of an artificial grape, but it smells good. Then next is Tweedledum's Epiphany. And this is like a peachy pink color with some crumbles and fun sprinkles on the top. I think this one is cracked too, like right along here. Not a big deal. But this is cream soda, sun ripened raspberry, and vanilla peach pudding. Ooh, this one smells good. This is like sweet. Ooh, if I can get, I'm trying to get the clamshell out again. Um, I think I'm getting like the sun ripened raspberry and the, the peach, but it kind of has an artificial note to it as well. Um, it smells sweet and fruity, but a little on the artificial side. So we shall see white rabbits pocket watch. And this one's super cute. Another little like white rabbit in bed. And then there's like some flowers and gears, like kind of like a pocket watch gears in there. And it's all green. Um, and this is berries, cassis, and night blooming lily. Ooh, this smells really beautiful. Oh, just the nice, I guess that's lily. I'm not that familiar with what lily smells like. But it has a nice floral note. That's not perfumey at all. And then a little bit of sweet, like tart fruitiness. Ooh, that's a really beautiful one. Super excited for some of these. So, um, then I mentioned I got a lot of scrubs. So I ordered, she had five scrubs that she stocked and I ordered all five and then I got four samples. So each of the samples is two ounces. This first one is rose. I don't know if it's supposed to be glace or glossé or whatever, however you're supposed to pronounce it. Um, just a nice pink, light pink scrub. And it smells like a rose, like a creamy rose. It smells nice. It's probably something that I wouldn't want to melt in a tart, but for a scrub, it smells nice. Then buried berries. And I don't have scent descriptions for these, so I'm just going to tell you what they smell like to me. And this smells, oh, I almost dropped that. <laughs> this smells really good. It's very dark, kind of like, um, either a very deep purple or like a chocolate brown because it looks chocolate brown. Maybe it's just chocolate brown. Kind of looks like it might have a deep purple to it. But it's definitely berries, but there's something else in here. Kind of like a jammy cooked berry type note. It's really good. Kind of like a, a pie filling or something when you cook berries and they kind of get that like rich kind of burny kind of smell. I don't know. Chocolate mint. Oh, my nose is stuffy. Sorry. Um, just like a nice creamy tan color. Oh, smells just like chocolate mint. Oh, smells so good. I do not like melting any chocolate wax at all. Um, even if it's an authentic chocolate. To me, it just, I don't know, it doesn't smell right. But that smells awesome. I will not mind using that as a scrub. And then blackberry jam. And it's a nice, like, lavender color. And it smells like blackberry, but it smells a little soapy. It's not very, like, fruity or sweet. 
but I will enjoy using it. So for the items I actually ordered, the first one is Tea Party with Alice. And you, this discoloration here is because it leaked. Um, she does package all of her scrubs in Ziploc bags um, because in, in the event that they do leak, they don't mess up your box. Um, so this one did leak a little bit, but it's basically, it's the same fragrance as the Tarte. Um, and then she changed her containers. So these are the eight ounce containers. They're tall now, but it's like triple layer, um, with the pink, like a light blue and it looks like white at the top. And there's this beautiful rose embed. Um, I don't open my scrubs until I go to use them. I did open one because I'll plan on using that one next. Um, so I'll open that one for you, but you can see it has that neat embed that I'm assuming is going to be made out of some kind of sugar so you can use it or maybe like a piece of soap or something. The next one I got is Eat Me and it's mostly just the white and kind of like a pinky tan color on the top. There are some sprinkles on there. It looks like some kind of shavings, like chocolate and coconut shavings or something. I don't know. I can't wait to smell these. And Nothing Whatever, which is like a minty green and white. Um, doesn't look like there's any embeds on top on this one. That is okay. Um, this one, Painting the Roses Red. This is gorgeous with the three different layers of colors. And there is a rose embed up on top there with like some red sugar sprinkles it looks like. So got that one. And then last is the Knave of Hearts. And this one, it was a, this one is the one I'm opening, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. It's sad. There's a sugar heart on the top. This was supposed to be, like, one of those, what they look like to me, my mom used to make cakes. Well, she still does sometimes. My mom makes cakes, and you can buy these, like, little sugar-shaped things that you can put on cakes to decorate. That's what that looks like. It's just like a sugary heart. It broke. It obviously got banged around a little bit in um, shipping, and that's okay. But, oh, I can tell you, it smells awesome. Oh, that one, this smells so good. I think this is the one, this has some kind of strawberry. Oh, yeah, fresh picked strawberry, cotton candy, brown sugar, and coconut flakes. Definitely like the strawberry and the cotton candy. But what it smells like to me is just a really, really sweet strawberry. So, love it. And I have um, a lotion from another vendor that is strawberry cotton candy that I can use after using the scrub. So, that's exciting. So that is everything for my bathing garden order. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not ordered from Shannon, I definitely encourage you to check her out. She has awesome product. Um, her next opening, like I said, is supposed to be mid-April. I will probably order from that. I'm trying not to order <laughs> as much wax, but it's just been really hard because I've had opportunities to order things and, and I'm going for it. But, um, Definitely check her out. I'm going to have to slow down on the scrubs too because I use like one of her eight ounce scrubs lasts me about three weeks. So, and she restocks once a month. So my stockpile of scrubs is getting pretty big. So I'm going to have to slow down on that too. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back with another haul video. Bye.